Hello and welcome to Ebb and Flow Imagery's YouTube channel. Marnie Lynn here and today we are going to be coloring Hummingbird. This is a picture that I had colored with pencil crayons in 95, another one of my crayon colorings that I'm reproducing. I wanted to do this now with the whole background being colored so I could see what it would look like and what kind of improvements I have made with my coloring and I've done quite a bit. I am this time keeping track of all the crayons that I used when I was coloring so that I can use that set of colors for out the whole picture and I am just going to be flipping the picture around as I'm coloring it so I can see what it looks like upside down and gives me a much better understanding and viewpoint of what needs to be done and how it's starting to come along. So I'm working on the wings and the feathers of the tail. I found it really interesting to be doing this part because this is all the motions of the wings fluttering back and forth to keep the butterfly, the hummingbird at just the right height for getting the nectar out of the flower. And as you can see, all of the energy is out at the back of the hummingbird and there's no energy affecting the flower itself. There's a little bit of energy that bounces down onto the leaf, but the flower itself is not having any kind of energy interaction with the hummingbird, which I thought was really fascinating to see this coloring itself out. I did some swirls around just so it would look more like it's got energy. After I had finished coloring the whole picture and I was going to go back and do some more detail, but when I got to my table to sit down and do some more coloring, I saw that the piece of paper had been become warped with all the crayon and all the work that's been done on it. So I think the next time I do a drawing, I will do it on a better quality paper than this photocopy paper that I'm using or printer paper that I'm using right now. It's only a 20 pound weight, but I think if I'd use the sketch pad that I had done the bamboo on and the eye, actually it was just the uh, reptilian eye that I had used, I think it would have had a stronger tooth to hold the color that I could have gone further to make it more like a photograph. I am enjoying this part of it though. I'm doing the strokes really far out so you can see the energy in the air around the hummingbird. And there you can see it's not really hitting anything on the flower, but it hits the leaf. And the leaf has a little bit of a bounce in it. I love watching it speed it up. I think I have it at 20%. This picture was originally two hours long and I could not believe how half an hour went in the a split second and a half hour was gone and I saved that clip and then I did another half hour and finished the whole background. And as I was sitting there looking at my picture I was able to see the wings almost moving back and forth. So we're almost at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification button so you always get a video when it comes up. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.